everyone. It's Miss Gwen, and I'm glad to be with you right now. Um, it's my turn to share the Bible story with you. It's a beautiful day outside, and the sky is just an amazing blue today, almost like um, Jesus' um, clothing that he has on right behind me. If you're with me on Sunday mornings, um, many of you have seen Jesus, and you've gotten to give him a hug um, uh, or just passed him around, and he's just a great reminder that he's always with us and he loves us. Today I want to start a little bit differently uh, and I want to share the Bible verse for April. Um, and when you're with me in large group, sometimes we learn the signs for some of the words to our Bible verse. So this month's verse is found in Mark 11 verse 9 and it says, Hosanna, blessings on the one who comes in the name of the Lord. So I want to show you some of the signs. This is Hosanna. Have your hands a few times and bring your fingers up like this. Hosanna. This is blessings. 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 On the one. This is comes. Comes. In the name. Two fingers make an X. Of the Lord. Alright, so Mark 11, 9 says, try it with me. Hosanna. Blessings on the one who comes in the name of the Lord. Great job. Great try. So you can practice that um, another time. Remember, this is the most important Lord. Jesus is our Lord. Absolutely. Um, the Bible story today is about a man named Thomas. And Thomas was one of the disciples. And this was a few days after Jesus had been raised from the dead. Some disciples had already seen Jesus. Thomas had not seen Jesus yet. And he didn't believe the disciples that they had seen him. He was like, I want to see this for myself. And so the story takes place inside a room, and the disciples are locked in the room. They lock themselves in. So when I read a Bible story or think about a Bible story, I kind of like to imagine what it would have been like if I was right there in the middle of the story. What, who were the people in the story? How were they acting? What were they thinking? Um, and when I hear the room locked, then uh, the word locked, it makes me think, mm, maybe they were afraid. I wonder how you think the, the um, disciples were feeling in this story, especially Thomas when he had not seen Jesus yet. So let's find out what happens in the story. We've seen Jesus, said the other disciples. Thomas didn't believe what the disciples told him. I doubt it. Jesus has died. I would only believe that you saw Jesus if I saw Jesus with my own eyes, said Thomas. Eight days later, the disciples, this time, Thomas was with them. They were in a locked room in their hiding place, and they were sitting in the room trying to decide what to do next. All of a sudden, Jesus appeared. Peace be with you, said Th Jesus. Thomas, don't doubt. Believe. It's you, Jesus, Thomas exclaimed. Jesus said to Thomas, Do you only believe because you see me? Have faith. Believe. And at the bottom of the, the story that we just read, it says, Can you think of something that you believe about Jesus? We can't see Jesus like Thomas and the disciples really saw Jesus physically. But we can use our imaginations to think about how Jesus might look. More importantly, we can know in our hearts that Jesus is always with us. We can, you know, feel uncertain in these times right now when we can't be together. We can be a little afraid. We can be a little worried about things that are going on. But Jesus is always with us. He knows how you're feeling. He knows what you're thinking. And he wants you to tell him about those things. He wants you to talk with him and pray to him and spend time with him. And he also gives us parents or grandparents or um, aunts or uncles or brothers or sisters who can share his love with you. And you can share his love with them as well by doing things that are kind or helpful, by praying together, by eating together, by playing games together. So I don't want you to worry if you have questions about God or Jesus, because Thomas did too. He wasn't so sure and he wanted to know for himself what was going on. And Jesus appeared to him 
and help Thomas understand that yes, he was alive and that he had done everything that he had told the disciples he was going to do and to have faith and believe that he was always going to be with him even when he couldn't see him. So let's pray together and um, then I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you next time. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you so much for this time together. Thank you for the Bible stories who help us see um, who you are and how, how loving you are and how much you want to spend time with us. Help us to not be afraid. Help us to always know that you're with us. And even when we are afraid, help us to just reach out to you so that you can help us feel better. Keep us all safe and thank you for loving us. In Jesus' name, amen. Have a great day and I'll see you next time.